talk to you about these Eaton Fuller heavy duty transmissions. I'm going to show you how to take an input shaft out and then put it back in. It's pretty simple. It's only a few steps, but they're important. So uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, so now that we're in the shop, what we have here is an Eaton Fuller heavy duty manual transmission. All right, This is a four speed with overdrive. So uh, what we're going to do here is remove this input shaft and uh, put it back on. It's pretty simple. First thing you're going to do, which I've already done obviously, is remove the bell housing. All right. Just a few bolts right around here. It's pretty simple. Pull the bell and the housing off. You know, check the seals. Scrape the gaskets so that way you know when you put it back on, replace the gaskets. But that really doesn't have anything to do with this. I just left it off. To skip a step. Next thing you want to do here, this uh, this front bearing plate. All right, it's gonna have six bolts in it. All right, I already took them out. Save some time. I'm gonna run those bolts out. And this is gonna slide right off this main shaft here. All right, pretty simple. On to the next step. All right, come on in here. I'll show you what we're going to do next. You can see this snap ring here. All right, there's a groove for it. All right, along this bearing or along this shaft, you're going to see not to be confused with the two uh, oil ports, but I'll show you those in a second. So you just get you a good pair of snap ring pliers, okay? Maybe a handy dandy flathead to give you a hand. All right, so what you're going to do here, I'll show you. Put your snap ring pliers on there, like so. And if you're lucky, she'll come right off. Just like that. It's that easy. It's not that easy. All right, but it, in theory, it should be. All right, on to the next one. All right, still need these, okay? There's another uh, a larger snap ring. You can see it around the outside of the bearing here, okay? That's the next thing that needs to come off. This one's fairly easy to get off. You get it just right, she'll pop right off. If you get it just right is, is the key here. All right. Guess I gotta stand up. That's what I get for trying to be lazy. Okay, I'm gonna get a little help from my trusty Dusty. Screwdriver here. You know, it's a proven theory that bigger guys like myself have a problem with silly little things like snap rings all right <laughs> takes us a little longer but if i need to pick this up and put it on my back and move it i'd be the guy they'd call i don't know why all right now the fun part we're going to pull this bearing all right this tool that i have is just what we happen to have here there's a lot of different tools out here but if you use one that's like this make sure you run this bolt all the way out so when you put this on the shaft this flat portion here sits flush against the bearing, okay? See, it's all the way in there. Out here wouldn't be any good. You need it all the way in there against the bearing. So, slide on there like so. Pretty simple. The ring goes over the top. Boom. Okay. Get your ratchet. It's like anything else. We're gonna run this sucker down until it just forces that bearing right out. How am I looking in there, J-Rod? Looking good. All right. Now, if you can see here, as I start to twist this, it's gonna pull that bearing from the front of the motor. Or from the transmission, I'm sorry. There she comes. See that moving there? It's forcing it out. And there she is. And just like that, you pulled your front bearing off the transmission. Okay, we're getting close to being done, all right? There's gonna be a little bearing spacer here. It sits right in the groove, right here around those, the gear sheet there. It's come right off the shaft. Set that aside. Now, the last and most fun snap ring, as you can see, sitting right inside of here and hopefully it won't fight me too bad coming out but more than likely yeah. all right 
Alright, well I'm gonna work it on around here. See if we can't pop her on out. And there you go. Just gotta work it around that. Alright, off comes that last snap ring, like so. And guess what's next? Input shaft out of the transmission. It's only a few steps. And now what I'm gonna do is show you how to put it all back together. All right guys, once you get this shaft out of here, if you plan on replacing this shaft with a new one, you can just disregard this part. But if you don't, there's an inner bearing here that sits inside of this shaft right here. You just wanna make sure there's no large grooves, cuts, snicks, you know, that's gonna affect the rotation of the shaft. Also check these teeth, make sure they're not uh, worn down too much. Um, they're still in good shape. So, uh, but like I said, if you're gonna replace it, it's kind of a moot point anyway. So what you're gonna do here, initially, just like it came out, you're gonna insert that shaft, line the teeth up, put it back on there, like so. And the next step, which happens to be my all-time favorite step, is putting this first snap ring back inside this transmission. I can't tell you how much fun this is. I mean, you can obviously you can see there's not too many better things in the world than putting snap rings in, in the transmission it's tight it's a tight fit you know it should be yeah see that I mean it I mean this is so much fun <clears throat> key is to get this thing stuck up in that groove. Once you get it in that groove there, it should, with a little bit of luck, pop into place. Just like Just like so. And boom, just like that. Snap rings in. Next is the bearing. Right. I need a handy dandy tool for this. I'll be right back. Okay, like I said, so now the bearing goes back on. I went ahead and put this snap ring back on the bearing and it pops right on, it's nothing difficult. So you wanna get this bearing started here. All right, and you know we're gonna get this tool. And this part's kind of crucial. I'm gonna slide this tool on here if you wanna switch sides with me, cameraman. What I'm gonna do is I'm using this tool to bang this bearing in, right? And as that bearing gets seated, I'll pull the shaft back out because what I need to do is expose the part of this shaft where that other snap ring goes on. But in order to do that, the bearing has to get seated, then the shaft has to come back out. And then you got to push the bearing back in, the shaft come back out. So it's kind of a push and pull. I'll show you and you'll see. See it went in there, now I'm gonna give this shaft a little tug. Might have been a little far. I'm gonna do it again. As you can see here, as I push this bearing in and I keep pulling the shaft out, I'm starting to expose more and more of the shaft here. You can see one of the oil uh, ports here. I'm gonna just keep doing it. Okay. Now I've gotten to a point to where if you come in here, you can see you want to get past these oil ports here, all right, and, and to the next spot in the shaft where the snap ring goes, and that's what that's what I was doing there. So now that we've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and put that first snap ring we took off. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. And it's gonna snap in just like that. All right, 
She's in there. Okay, now from here, it's basically the same way it came off. All right, your front bearing cover goes on. There's a little uh, oil return port here on the other side, so make sure when you reassemble this that you match up with the oil return hole here on the transmission, okay? All right, get it lined up. Run those bolts down, throw your bell housing back on, and you can change uh, the shaft out this Eaton Fuller. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, guys, remember, you ain't cool unless your chrome's shining. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.